Practical 3D printing? So if you're new here, I got the Prusa MK4 with the MMU3, and I'm gonna overlay a clip so you can kind of see how big this setup was. It worked really well, but I had an idea and I made it happen. So I started prototyping some models. And of course, with prototyping, you have some failures. But I'm happy to report that this system now works and it actually works really well. And the best part is I already had this like desk stand kind of thing for some extra filament from a long time ago. And I wanted to utilize it for this project. That's the only reason why I didn't download one of the other mods that other people have made already. This is the filament buffer, and this can be mounted on the left or the right side. And this is kind of the part where you actually have to feed it in and then remove one of these cartridges to kind of navigate the filament into the other Bowden tube. Regardless of which side you choose to put this on, that means that these are actually on the back, so it was a little bit difficult to kind of reach in behind and pull everything out that's why i wanted to vertically mount it so i took some measurements with my calipers and i made this which actually mounts to the bottom of the pole and this actually just slides right into it the next thing that i needed to tackle was where the bowden tubes were actually going to be sitting along this rail and that's where i came up with this final design which this isn't the final design i was going to try to make this look prettier but it works so why change it it might not look pretty with these but i was going to trim them down but it's working really really well so i don't really want to change anything and potentially mess it up the next problem that i faced was the fact that these were just sitting on a pole so when one of these was being pulled in it was actually rubbing against the next filament spool which caused this one to kind of loosen up. So I quickly made these, which this allows me to actually pull the filament off easily and just stops them from bumping into each other. So now that this is all done, it actually frees up some space so I can put another printer on this table. Um, and it fits my personal needs. And that's one of my favorite things about 3D printing is you can solve problems with this technology. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should change or what you think I've done wrong with this setup or if you like it, um, I'd love to hear. And if you've made it to the end and you've been hearing this printer in the background, just know that there's a really cool project coming out soon. I might actually make a video on it today, so if you're excited for that, make sure you're following.